Imagine you're camping on an alpine lake in the Sierra Nevadas of California, where the sun has just gone down, a breeze is rolling in, illuminating the coals and the fire you have lit. The tips of the trees show with a starlit sky. My name is Jimmy Flat, and I am the founder of Hunters of Color. That experience that I just described was something that I got to live when I was little. I had the privilege to go camping, hunting and fishing when I was little, but unfortunately that isn't the case for some and most BIPOC in this country. I wanna share a story of when I was uh, in my high school days when I was trying to find people to hunt with. Um, but unfortunately, no one looked like me who hunted. So I found two white brothers who seemed to be welcoming, invited me out, and I decided to go on a hunt with them. And I quickly found out that I wasn't welcome. They would say racist things, uh, either directly or indirectly, at me. And where I drew the line was when the younger of the brothers decided to put the butt of his shotgun up against the back of my leg when I wasn't looking and pull the trigger. At first I thought I had just been shot. And so when I turned around and saw both brothers laughing and rolling around on the ground, I knew I was not welcome. Unfortunately, experiences like this aren't unique. Um, the outdoors were not built for people of color in mind. And that's why we are so grateful for organizations like Love is King and Hunters of Color who are creating an environment where the outdoors are for everybody and we are free to roam.